guys welcome back to another vlog so today is Macclesfield at home I've got a weird story to tell you guys so basically my Spanish teacher who we've had for around two years now her dad is John Askey the Macclesfield manager so there's been a bit of banter in the week she's trying to give it saying they're gonna win so I'm really hoping really really hoping like I looked at this fixture when it came out we've got to win these games because then I can go in class smiling and giving it back so on to the game Macclesfield are top of the league so it's not going to be an easy game they're a good side, um, they've got some good players as well, but it's a long way for them to travel, so safe travels to them coming down, down to Prison Road. Um, yeah, so hopefully, I'm just hoping that we get the win, man. This is like one of the biggest games for me personally, because it's got a bit riding on it. But we started to pick up, midweek we played really well, the best I've seen us play, so things are looking slightly better. Um, we need another win, we need consistency, that's what we need to find, and getting that win today would kind of give us a bit of consistency, which is... Like I say, desperately what we need. Um, my score prediction today, I'm going to say 2-1, because I don't think we'll keep a clean sheet. 2-1 to Orient. Um, I'm going to say a Bon and a Mooney goal. If we do, I'll be very happy. But um, let's head down to Brisbane Road. Come on, Orient. Let's go in the ground. Yeah. The, the uh, North Stand is closed today because of... Uh, some of the signs at the top are falling off and I think health and safety. It's going to look weird in my videos when I'm filming that way. So that's why it's so empty. It's closed and everyone's going in the east and west end. So that's why. Coffee's now delayed by 10 minutes to 10 past 3 because of the uh, north stand situation. Goalkeeper got substituted off Sean Jalal for a head injury. Go on. Oh! Yes! Oh! Macclesfield, we've absolutely dominated the game and battled them so bad. Oh, should not be losing this game. Second half has just started, and um, yeah, have a hot dog. Change to a 4 4 2 formation. Um, let's see what this guy can happen. We, can, we need to get more attacking players, so hopefully, it'll work out for us. Pie. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you can walk the size of your lard ass. Come on, come on. Come on. Take a point here. Oh, the ball is Oh, 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 oh,
Goalkeeper! We should even be winning this game, to be honest. Come on! Oh, for God's sake, their keeper's having a blind eye. Five minutes. Come on. Yes. Come on. Come on. Get up the pitch. Go on. Another defeat, 1-0, oh, I'm dreading going into school, Love, not next week, but the week after. Oh, this is just so demoralising every week. Every week is some old crap. Davis, I don't care, get out. Davis, get out! Same crap every week. So as you can see, I'm back from the game. And also you might be able to tell I'm wearing a different kind of orange shirt that I've never actually worn on my vlog before. That's because... Um, Anti knife Danny, my my good friend, he um, kindly get, gave this to me because he didn't really want it. So thank you so much for that. It fits good. It's a nice top. It's a match worn Scott Cash kit shirt. So thank you for that, Danny. Go follow him on Twitter, Anti Knife UK. Um, he, good campaign against knife crime, and we want to try and um, stop knife crime. So thumbs down to knife crime. Um, actually, on my thoughts on the game, I thought. I thought we played well, I really did. I think we played well, we were the better team and the first half we were so dominant, we deserved something in the first half. We probably deserved to be in front in the first half and of course, our luck, we um, ended up 1-0 you know, down, finding ourselves 1-0 down. It's tough because we played all right. I mean, we, we didn't play rubbish, but when you play okay and you're still not getting results, something's wrong. You know, if you're playing good and you can't get results out, that's not good enough. That is telling you something is something along the lines is wrong. I don't know what it is. I think we're not confident enough in goal. We've missed some very good chances today. Macclesfield had very limited chances and they took their one that they did get. So, you know, they've just made the most of what they can, like, in front of goal. And that's being clinical and that's probably why they're top. They didn't look a good side. They certainly will not win the division, I don't think. But, I mean, on paper we should kind of be winning these sort of games, but... It's just annoying the fact that every week I'm coming home and it's kind of a bit disappointing and a bit demoralising if you see my tweet. Um, it's, you know, Orient affects my mood definitely um, for the upcoming week and that. And obviously I have a week off school, so it'd be kind of alright. But if I was at school, it's still gonna get me down a bit. Do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not pleasant. But I mean, talking about Steve Davis, I think for me now, I said a couple of games ago that if he has a couple of games to turn it around then I'll be happy, but we have not really improved. We haven't. I mean, we're still not won in like eight games in the league, and that's not good enough. That's sort of relegation form, really. And we're not far off that. We're five points off the relegation zone. And if we, you know, if, we ha if we're not careful, we could find ourselves in there very easily because I can't, I, can you see, get, can, can you, let me know if you can see us actually getting a win at um, home to get said Tuesday. I, I don't know if I can, to be honest. I really don't know. So I don't know where the next win's coming from, but we have to get it. I'd sack Davis, I would, if I was looking at it, I'd sack him now because the results are not good enough. You know, we're playing okay, but when you're playing okay and good sometimes, and you're still not getting the results, like I say, something is majorly wrong, and that isn't good enough. You need someone to come in, he just seems lifeless, his substitutions were a little bit poor, you know, playing Judd again, I don't understand, I'm not saying Judd's not played uh, good because he's played good in, in um, different positions, but... Put him at his natural position. I think Caprice has been poor lately. He cannot defend. We need to stop the crosses. My uncle was saying this. He's what he thinks. You need to stop the crosses in. And I completely agree. Because then you stop the danger. Then, you, you know, you give a corner. All right. You just have to try and defend that. But it's oh, it's just not good enough, really, defensively. We were very good last week at Dagenham. Our best defensive display I've seen us play all season. So... It's disappointing. I'm disappointed again. And, of course, I told you at the beginning about my Spanish teacher. Luckily, I have a week off school next week. But when I do go in, I'm going to... Oh, I can't... That's what I was thinking at the end of the game. I can't... I just do not want to go into school. And um, not next Monday, the Monday after. It's not going to be pleasant. We need to beat them definitely in the away fixture now. Um, so, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, Gates at home on Tuesday night. I probably will be going to. Because, uh, but it is my sister's birthday. 
Um, so I should be, I should still be going to, to that. So please like and subscribe, up the O's, and let's still keep the faith.